Hello, this is Lover of Ladies, and welcome to my channel. On this episode, I'm going to be playing Detroit Become Human. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. This is beautiful. This we I mean, hundreds of our people. We did it. They're coming. Everyone fall back to Jericho. Yep, let's go. The cops are coming. We sent a message without violence, just like you wanted. You're reaching out to them when all they feel for us is contempt. I hope you know what you're doing. I am. Don't fight violence with violence. Unless there's no other choice. Yeah, obviously no other choice, but just trust me on this, bro, please. Just trust me. Shit, they're here. Yeah, that's me, so what? Five. Fuck, Nor no! No! Hey, yo, no, 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 no! Damn! Oh, Norse. You alright? What happened? North. She just they watched. Wow. They slaughtered them like animals. Who did? The Who? <sighs> Shit. It's the cops. Damn, this sucks. Like, they shot a good number of androids, and for what? Alright, let's see what's going on. They killed our people, Marcus. We want justice, Marcus. They have to pay. Hmm. Listen, I'm gonna be real with you right now. I know you guys you think. No. Please. Please. No, bro, I can't. Amen. See, Marcus knows. We won't punish a crime with another crime. He's right. Like, we gotta show them that we're not animals like them, bro. And I know North is feeling some type of way, but at the we end of the day, that's not how end. things work. At exactly 2 a.m., several Cyber Life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Most shop windows were covered with graffiti demanding rights for androids and other obscure slogans. Police report that pro-android graffiti was okay. found in the neighborhoods of Cyber Life stores and they're still investigating. Two policemen were found in a state of shock near one of the Cyber Life stores. Now, according to our sources, they confirmed that the attackers were a group of androids. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Have no. Androids become a threat to our security. They yes, want yes. equal rights. The of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States. Hey yo. Okay, so what's this place? Why are we here? Oh, it's Connor. Okay, so I assume they're what? Waiting for something? At this point, what's wrong? Usually, you breathe heavy when something's wrong, Hank. So, what's up? What's on your mind? Is everything okay, Lieutenant? Chris was on patrol last night, he was attacked by a bunch of deviants. Said he was saved by Marcus himself. Holy shit, what a Chris small okay? world. Yeah, he's in shock, but he's alive. What the hell? Yeah, not all deviants are bad, Hank. I have a bad feeling, Lieutenant. We shouldn't have come here. Bad feeling, huh? Should get your program checked. Might be a glitch. <laughs> You're funny.
What a quirky doorbell. Okay. Holy shit! Hi. Uh, I'm it's... Uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. It's Thanks. the girl. It's the girl that appears on the screen on the menu. Holy shit, that's so dope how she's incorporated into the game too. Well, this place is very I'll let Elijah know you're here. But please make yourself comfortable. Wow. This place is insane. Huh, this painting moves. Huh. Wait a minute. Amanda. That's Amanda? And she died. Nice girl. An RT-600. The first Cyberlife android to pass the Turing test. I didn't ask for her technical specs. I just said she was nice. My bad. Sorry. So, this is the guy we're talking- Yeah, this is the guy we're talking to. Nice place. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. You're about to meet your maker, Connor. How's it feel? It doesn't raise any existential questions. If that's what you mean. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. Like what? Glad you will see you now. Okay. Mr. Kamsky! Just a moment, please. Right. Wow, this place is nice. The view is amazing from here. Hey, yo. I can tell this guy has a type. Hmm. <laughs> Tell me you have a type without telling me you have a type. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Hmm. Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. It's funny how he's only addressing Hank and not Connor. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence, and now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. I'm not here for a philosophical it's class, bro. I just ask for help. Deviancy seems to spread like some kind of virus. We thought you might know something about that. All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Hey, Listen, yo. I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. Yeah, bro. Stop wasting our time. What about you, Connor? Hmm. Now you're addressing him. Whose side are you on? I'm on the human side, of course. Well, that's what you're programmed to say. Okay. But you. What? What do you really want? I believe we're the ones asking the questions. Yeah. Boy, I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. 
I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. <laughs> Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. You're giving me a lot of creepy vibes, bro. A flower that will never wither. And you have a very punchable face, what is too. It really? a piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul. The fuck is he pulling out? Hey, yo, he has a gun? What the fuck is he doing? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Hank, do something. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. The fuck? Or spare it. If you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out What's more here, important boy. to you, Connor? Your investigation, or the life of this android? You're a fucking psycho. Decide who you are. Are you fucking kidding me, bro? An obedient machine. Or a living being. Endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. How about you can fuck off, because I'm not killing her. Fascinating. Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity... ...is itself a deviant. I'm... I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. I'm not gonna kill someone. You saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. Your little test is fucked coming. up. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? Hmm. What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Wow. Let's get out of here. Thank you, Hank, cuz I'm getting annoyed. This guy is a prick with his stupid jigsaw By the game. Way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. Hmm. Good to know. Thank you. The fuck? Why didn't you shoot? I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry, okay? Well, maybe you did the right thing. Hmm. Wow, I got brownie points from Hank. He respects you more. See, it's not too bad. Wow, this is a beautiful scenery. I mean, yeah, the big hole is crazy, but still. It's nice. Peaceful. Very peaceful. Hey, that's you, Marcus. Look at you, buddy. Honestly, this would be the perfect place for me to just chill and unwind, relax. And there's a piano here, so hell yeah. Why not? Have fun. Hmm. Keep going!
<laughs> so with the D-pad, if I press very slowly, he strokes the keys slowly. And if I do it fast, he does it fast. So that's pretty funny. I like that, though. Hey, yo, why are you going on the edge for? Oh my god, please don't tell me you're gonna jump. I can't handle another jump scene. I was wondering where you were. Mm? Why? I just needed to be alone. Hmm. I like it here. I come here often. Really? It's like being alone with the world. Yeah, it is. We freed hundreds of our people, and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. Hell yeah. Revolution's coming, bro. You seem preoccupied. Mm, that's an understatement. They all obey me. They follow me without question. And that much power feels good. It does. And scary. Yeah. At the same time. I could only imagine. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. I bet. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. Oh fuck. The That's horrible. They'll never give us our freedom. Huh? Listen. No, not all humans are the same. Some of them understand that they can't stop us from becoming free forever. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? That's funny that you asked because... Before this all happened, Marcus was... I was caring for an old man. A good caretaker. He was like a father to me. And that old man... He showed me that humans and androids can't live together. Exactly. What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? Yeah, it's your turn. Talk about it. Oh. That android you were looking at in the store. She reminded you of who you were, didn't she? Oh my god, look at her. She's crying. What happened, baby? Who well, hurt I you? I started when I arrived in Jericho. What happened before is my business. Okay, not a problem. Damn. Something messed up must have happened to her. This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus. It's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally going to show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. Yeah, we gotta make a this statement. This is the only way. All right, let's go. Androids here who can join us. You're free. Come with us. There you go. Hey. You're awake now. Come with us, buddy. Let's go. You're free. You're free now. Good. Hey, where do you think you're going? Uh, you leave him alone. He's no. chosen to be free. Yeah, fuck off. I dare you say something. Good. Walk away. Anyways. I need to block the street. Hey, block the street from you. We're about to have a protest. Good, good, hell yeah, let's go. You don't have to obey them. You're free. Nice, let's go. Open up this manhole. All right. Who 
else is coming? Alright, you see, I like this. We're about to have some fun with this protest, that's for sure. Alright. You. I want you on my team. You're free now. Come. You! Psst, psst. Get over here. Good. Alright, let's start walking. In style. Let me see who else is here. Hey! You! Come here! Benga! Let's go! We're having a protester! Yes! Yes! Come on over! Come on over, baby! Oh, the fucking cops! Come on over, come on over, baby. Come on over, come on over. Let me hack this screen. Boom! That's right. Freedom! That's what we want. Let's go. Let's go. Because right now, I want everyone to know that we mean business. Serious business. We just want rights and freedom, bro. I don't think that's too much to ask. You know? Oh, uh, there's a cop. Uh, I'm protesting, buddy. No. No, you're good, fam. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't know what to do. No. Come on. Jesus fucking Christ. Thank you. Let's go. This bed's is patrol four fifty seven. I got a lot of androids down here. I don't know, hundreds, thousands, and they're marching. Yeah, they're marching down the street. We are fuck if I know. Love this. This is beautiful. Yes. Oh shit! The cops come. The cops are here because we said equal rights. Fuck. Damn. They're hardcore. What's good? We came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us, we can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand their ground, even if it means dying here. This is your last chance. Disperse immediately, 
or you will all be killed. No. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. We're leaving. I'm not risking anyone here. Affirmative. Let's go. On my orders. What the fuck? Run! They're shooting behind us. What the fuck, bro? We're dispersing. Fucking crazy. We're dispersing. We gotta go. I'm so fucking angry. We left and they're shooting at us. Great, I have to talk to Amanda? My god, I can't stand this woman. Let's see what fucking bullshit she has to say. Cause I feel like every time I talk to her, she likes to make me feel like I'm a little kid who doesn't know what I'm doing. Like, I'm trying my best to do this mission. I can't stand her, I swear to god. The fuck you want, Amanda? After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. I thought Kemsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. But you chose not to ask. I'm not gonna kill someone for information! I chose not to play his twisted little game. There was no reason to kill that android. Exactly. The fuck? I saw a photo of Amanda at Kamsky's place. She was his teacher. When Kamsky designed me, he wanted an interface that would look familiar. That's why he chose his former mentor. What are you getting at? Why did Kamsky leave Cyberlife? Yeah. What happened? What happened? It's an old story, Connor. It doesn't pertain to your investigation. Expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. Whatever. You're the only one who can prevent civil war. Find the deviants. Or there will be chaos. This is your last chance, Connor. Or what? Thank you for watching this episode. I'm going to end it right here. My name's Lover of Ladies. Stay safe, take care, and I'll see you next time.